uh, yes viewers so having designed our 3d so i want to show you how we can now convert this into a layout so that we can answer these questions here so we want to see how we can place our drawings in a layout so 3d layouts when you're placing a 3d layout you must have all these plans in your layout so that you can print and uh, plot and print and then show dimensions so the first question is to show a three-dimensional view in southwest plan b plan view and the end view so having drawn our shaft cover so this is what we want to place in in uh, layout let me just delete all this yeah so to place a 3d drawing into a layout so that we can produce these views as asked here from these questions here so in autocad this is our 3d view so i come to the layout tool the layout tab near the model i can click one of the layouts so in the layouts tab here i remove I just delete this one out so that I can place my drawings just leave as a viewport. So here, I want to place my views as been told to place these views in our layout so that we can plot and print in a paper. So after coming to the layout, so this is our layout. So when in the layout, we have the layout tab appearing here on the next at the end of the tabs. So when you click on that layout tab, now here we are going to create views. Eh? So we want to place our base view. The base view is our parent view, which now will help us to produce other views. So in the, the model, this is our shaft cover. So when you click on the layout, then you come to the layout tab, then you pick base view. We have to pick our base view or you can just have base view click base then just come and do click on that arrow you have our base view you can just type views so you have view base so when you click on the view base or you go to the view base view then you pick from model space then you wait <coughs> so as you wait it asks you from the model space so you click model space so you can see we have our view shown here so the parent view is the the best view you actually as, as acting as your parent view so once it comes so by default it's showing you that the front view which asking your base view so you pick an orientation so we have got various orientations here so you can pick maybe top you can pick top view so that's our top view which is going to appear here then you place your top view there then you click ok and then maybe one of the side views as you continue that's a projected view you can place your projected view there and also then from here you can have a 3d view just click diagonally and then you click where you want to place it then you press enter so when you press enter you will see we have produced our views as requested or as asked from the the paper i can also share these views when you just click on the base view come to edit view then you you show hidden lines can show hidden lines mm, on the appearance mm, 
hidden lines or visibility and then uh, we select the type Let's press enter select the view and then hidden lines then shaded with visible lines so you can see then you click ok yes that's ok so now we've placed our drawing based on the questions that we've been asked here so we have the three dimensional first southwest plane plan view and the end view so when you look into this this is our plan view these are one of the views side views and also we've got our southeast southwest plane there so from here we can now show dimensions mm, as shown in that drawing so we simply come to dimensions and then dimensions then you do linear from there to there you drag it and place it there you can see the they are too big from here to here you can show dimensions so now they appear to be too big we need to reduce this text height so you still come back to your drafting and annotation where now you can change your dimension style you can just type dim style and then now we modify to reduce the text height if that is true, you can have maybe 0.2. You set current, you close. And then arrows, you also have like 0.2. Yeah. Then you've got lines, you can leave it like that. Then you click OK, you set current, then you close. So you can see our dimensions are exact. So any other dimension you're showing from this point, you can always show. So generally, that's how we place various views in a layout. So we start with the parent view, which can be the top view or the plan view, side view, and also it's called the ISO view placed in that. So I think this question is well answered. So we have our three-dimensional view, we have our plan view, and the end view. So you can use text to name your views. This is a plan view, this is the end view, and then this is the three-dimensional view as placed in the layout. So these views can only work when you are on the layout tab. That's where you can place your drawings using at AutoCAD. So I think that's that for this particular tutorial and this, this particular question on 3D. Just using extrude and other tools for designing a 3D object. You can continue doing the dimensioning. The dimensioning will always be the same. So you just come there, then you do dimension. If it is dimension linear or angular or diameter. So you just click there, you use 16. This one will give you 10. Mm -hmm. This one will give you 28, which is 14. Just press enter, then show your dimensions like that as they come out. So that's how we do dimensioning in plan. You can have from here to here, this 50. From here to here, give us 12 off. Yeah. So, and much more. So, I hope. Uh, this tutorial, you'll find this tutorial helpful in your future mechanical drawings when you're dealing with uh, 3D. Thank you so much.